I uncovered a lot of singers that are targeted, and there is a market for that. There are people that prey on that. And in Southern California, there's a lot of these fly-by-night financial companies that send everything in the mail, and that is their objective. Her memory was going. She wasn't ca caught up on her bills because she wasn't in her state of mind. And in the meantime, she was in almost in foreclosure with her primary lender on her bank. They told her that not to pay her mortgage because it will all be taken care of in the closing, which are normal. It's like 45, 60 days, that's normal. This process started in like July and it was the end of October. At this time, her primary lender was like, we're foreclosing on your house. This is when she involved me. I came down, didn't know anything about that business, tried to get involved. I got a call from them saying, we needed your grandmother to sign the papers, have notary, everything's done, everything's set, and we're supposed to give her this bridge loan because they were saying that her credit was so bad that she couldn't get a normal loan. The bridge loan was to pay off all the credit card bills consolidate all that debt, and then she's supposed to be pristine to go get a normal loan. Their understanding and their explanation was, this is only temporary, this is only on paper. Don't worry about it. Call my grandma's attorney, we got it stopped, we did our best to stop it, and they still proceeded with it. They ignored my, my grandmother's attorneys cease and desist letters and the faxings. They went ahead and processed the transaction. So in order to stop the transaction, I had to go as far as stop the home insurance because you can't get a loan without home insurance. They went ahead and got a, another home insurer carrier, signed my grandmother's name to it, went ahead to go ahead and process the loan. She came to the house and had my grandmother sign a piece of paper. What this piece of paper was, as we found out, she put in a grant deed of trust for $7,500. Her explanation was, I loaned my Lillian, that's my grandmother, I loaned Lillian money to pay her bills because she had no money. This never happened, this never took place. So um, the next thing that we had to do to get us out of that horrible spot was the next thing was we thought this reverse mortgage would be a wonderful opportunity. So we went ahead and processed that, and it was able to be done quickly, and the house was able to be thinned. But be in lieu of it, whenever you do these transactions, if you do a refinance or something, when you come to, you get money from A, and you go to B, and you say, B, I want to get rid of this, I want to pay A. So everything has to be paid. So since they went ahead and forced the loan through, all their fees, everything had to be paid, all this stuff had to be paid. And the way it was supposed to work was my grandmother was supposed to have monies after all the equity and every, all the blood and sweat she put into that house, it was supposed to be there for her, for her retirement. And there's an allotment, different. So say she was supposed to have 20,000, they took like 19,700 in fees. So when it was all said and done, after my grandmother has lived in this house, maintained her credit, Colonel's wife, Chaplin's wife, she was left with her house and got $500 from the loan, which was $500 that I put down as a deposit when you start the procedure. Congress, I want you to look in the mirror and look at your loved ones because in a few years, you're gonna be old too. And think of your grandmothers, think of the people who got you to where you are today because it was their wisdom and their advice. How would you like it if that happened to them?